welcome to you all guys on this beautiful day here at Rally Sardinia. Great start for you this morning, Seb. Tough couple of days ahead, though. How much are you looking forward to the event? Well, <laughs> yeah, I know for sure it's going to be tough, but I'm happy to be there still. It's, uh, it's a great event. Uh, like I said, at the beginning was not my favorite one, but I, I'm, I learn it year after year, and now I have to say I enjoy to drive here. It's uh, beautiful, some beautiful stages to drive, and the weather it's always nice. So I think a uh, nice place to be. So no, I'm I'm happy to be there, but obviously uh, it's going to be a tough event with uh, with the start position. Uh, I think it would be a bit unrealistic to speak about victory, but uh, I would be very happy if I could. Uh, stay on the podium, that, that would be fantastic and I think more precisely my target is try to fight with Andreas and Matt, the guys starting just behind me, that's the, the focus I have to, yeah, to have and uh, for the rest uh, we will see. We will see, I know you'll give it your best shot as you always do Seb. Tell me about the characteristic of the stages here, what, what's so good about them, are they technical, are they flowing, what's great about this event? Yeah, it's, um, I think the road up basically very narrow here most of the time and uh, a lot of rocks are siding the road so it's very easy to hit something but if you are precise in your driving uh, the profile is, is, is not so bad and I, uh, I, the, the ground is, is not so soft like we had now in the previous events like Portugal or, or, or Argentina therefore for me I hear often that here it's rough but for me it was even rougher in Portugal or Argentina second loop so I I prefer to drive here, I have to say, and uh, also here one parameter is important, is very abrasive ground sometimes, so it's very demanding for tires and that's the point I like because sometimes I can make a bit of difference with that and I hope uh, that would be a chance to get back sometime this weekend. You know, there's been a lot in the press recently, obviously you and your lovely wife are due to be parents soon, it's, the focus is obviously at home. Is it a bit difficult being here, knowing that you could get the call and Papa Roger may have to run off? Of course, I'm very excited with this situation, uh, but uh, I, I, I do my job as professionally as always, and I'm so far able to have the same preparation on the event and the same ambition, same target. And I just hope that my wife and the baby are going to hold on <laughs> three and a half more days now. <laughs> that I can come back home after the race and uh, that it's, yeah, we can have this nice event together in the next weeks. But you never know, only the nature is going to decide. That's why, like I announced it, I'm ready to, to run to her if it's needed. Uh, but so far, uh, no news, so no news, good news in this moment. <laughs> Absolutely, so well, we wish you the best of luck with that. Let's turn to Mads Osberg now. Great to see you here. It's obviously been a good run at Shakedown. Lots of runs for the drivers today. Are you feeling good with yourself and the car? Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it was a good morning for us. Uh, we made some some good improvements with the car from the previous rallies, and the, the car is, is changing gear now, and that's obviously helping a lot for me. So I feel I felt very good uh, on the Shakedown today. Immediately on the first run, I I gained some confidence uh, from the car that it, it changed down and uh, then I could really just enjoy it and, and be myself. Well, we're glad to hear that because the gear shift problem has been affecting you on previous rallies. So we can see a flat out Osberg here then. What's the plan? Yeah, for sure. It's uh, not going into the rally knowing that it probably will work. It's a big difference than going into rally knowing it won't work. So I'm very happy that, uh, that the guys have done such a good job uh, with the uh, with the gearbox and been able to actually sort uh, the issue we've had for, for so long. So I'm very happy with that and I, I feel very motivated to go into the rally now. Should these guys be worried then if you're full of motivation and confidence? Yeah, well, you never know. Uh, for Tanak, maybe not so much. He has a pretty different line than, uh, than us on the front, but uh, Oshier can be possible to, to challenge. I have a benefit com compared to him, so if I'm on it, it uh, I should be faster, but I'm not saying I will be. <laughs> well, we'll wait and see then, Mads. Thank you very much. Let's turn to Oitanak now. We see some great times coming through from you. A new association with DMAC for you this year. Obviously, the last rally was a little bit difficult, pretty dramatic what happened in Portugal. What's your plan for Sardinia, Oit? Yeah, we have the uh, same plan as we had in Portugal. Uh, yeah, we all know we've done a big step uh, developing the tire you know, before Portugal, so uh, yeah, obviously 
there is still a lot to learn. We missed most of the Portugal, so you know, not so many kilometers on these tires. But uh, I think, just like Seb said, you know, it's one of the most demanding uh, rallies of the season for the tires. So uh, yeah, it will be quite interesting to see uh, what we can do. Yeah. One of the most demanding rallies. Is it one of your favourites here? Do you enjoy the stages here? Yeah, they are tricky, uh, but. Uh, but I think yeah, if you get a good flow, good feeling, uh, they can be really enjoyable. They are fast but narrow, but uh, but yeah, you know, you have to be really concentrated here and really clean with your driving. Then uh, yeah, it's it's possible to have a good flow. You have a good road position, or uh, with the pace that we've seen from you in past events, do you think a podium is possible? Yeah, I think it's really possible. Uh, we have a really good road position and. Uh, and we know we have a good tire and, and also the car is working really, really well for me. So uh, I'm actually quite confident. Yeah. Well, good. I'm pleased to hear it. Guys, I wish you all the best this weekend here in Sardinia. Ladies and gentlemen, our top three from Shakedown, Sebastian Auger, Mans Osberg and Oitana. Thank you, guys. Ready to start with our pre-event FIA press conference for our WRC2 drivers and WRC3. Representing WRC2, we have Essa Pekalafi and Umberto Scandala. And representing WRC3, we have Fabio and Dolphy. Welcome to you all, guys. Essa Pekka, we're going to start with you. This is now the first WRC2. Oh, hello, that mic definitely works, doesn't it? This is the first WRC2 event for you in the 2016 season. We've missed you so far, so it's good to have you back. How confident are you feeling now coming in to Rally Sardinia? Uh, as, as confident as I can be. Uh, as you know, we, we had a small break, but, but, but we have had breaks before. Um, as you know, last year with the new car, we became to Portugal, so we had six months break. Still, I managed to fight for the title victory in Portugal, so this four months break doesn't stop me for sure. Well, we hope not. You tested before the event. How do you feel in the car? Is everything good for you? Yeah, everything is perfect. On the shakedown, we tried a bit uh, different setups, but uh, yeah, it, it paid off to be honest, and everything is, is ready for the race. I'm, I'm pretty confident with the car, with my notes, everything, so. All set. You know, as ever in WRC2, there's a strong lineup, strong lineup here, but at every event we always see very competitive drivers. Last year, you were fighting out for the title in WRC2. Do you feel that's going to be a possibility this year, as a packer? No, for sure. Uh, I messed up myself last year, um, and this year it, it won't happen again. <laughs> so I, I, for sure, I'm, I'm fighting for the title. That's why I'm here. And Okay, this race is maybe more survival race for our cars. Uh, we need to take care care of the wishbones and every, all tires as well. But but yeah, we don't need to go flat out all the time here. It's then then it's a bit different after this race. <laughs> a bit different, in, as in you will be flat out on the others. But survival key here then. I think so. Yeah, and also. It's a bit of a question of luck, you know, there is so much lo loose rocks on the stages that everyone can pick it up for you in front of you and then you, can, you just cannot avoid it anymore. So uh, it's also a big question of luck, but I hope we have deserved our luck for, for this race. I hope so too. Good luck this weekend, Esapeko. Let's turn to Alberto now. Welcome along to Rally d'Italia Sardinia and to WRC2. As I mentioned to Essa Peckers, always a strong field of drivers here. This weekend is no different. How are you feeling about the competition? So, for me, it's the second time in the WRC. The first time was the 10 years ago, 11 years ago. And um, we are very happy. We, we have uh, a good feeling with the car, but uh, uh, not 100%. Uh, we don't know this stage. For us, it's all 90% new. And, um, okay. For, uh, is important for us this rally for experience, uh, for uh, um, for test for next event of Italian Championship Rally di San Marino on gravel. You just come off the back of a win in the Italian Championship. Does that give you a little bit of confidence coming here? 
yeah, we are here for the confidence with the, the car, with the setup, uh, um, with the tires. Um, see, oh, it's a very long, uh, very long uh, rally for it, for for uh, Italian driver is not uh, um, usually because in Italian championship uh, we have race uh, about uh, we race with uh, 150 kilometers, and here only one day is <laughs> all rally <laughs> of Italian championship. For for us, uh, it's important to um, to arrive at the end of this day, the rally. Yeah, it's a big challenge here. You said you weren't a hundred percent happy with the car. What's not quite right? My no, don't understand. Sorry. You mentioned that you were happy with the car, but yeah. not not a hundred percent. No, no, I, I'm very happy about okay. the car, but uh, I haven't uh, feeling one hundred percent of feeling. But uh, the, 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 um, the car is very very fast, uh, and on gravel is for me is better. Is the, the, the best car. What's your hope for this weekend? Because we've got some great drivers for you to battle against. Do you think a win is a possible here for you? <laughs> I don't know. I or don't. is it the dream? I, I, I don't think so. But uh, the best is possible. I, I, don't, I don't know which uh, position. Would, is it possible that we may see you again in WRC2 on other rounds? Or is it just the home Italian event? No, no. For us, in, in, at, the, at the moment, only Italian event. I hope in the future, maybe, I don't know if it's possible another one rally, but uh, for, for, at the moment, only Italian uh, rally Sardinia. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Let's turn to Fabio now then in WRC3. How are you feeling ahead of the event? How much testing have you done in preparation for Rally Sardinia? <laughs> Steal that one, that's better. Hello. Uh, after uh, Rally Portugal, uh, we didn't uh, have a test uh, because uh, we, the, we did uh, it uh, before uh, Portugal. Uh, in, in total, uh, we did uh, more uh, 100 uh, kilometers. Uh, the setup uh, is uh, very okay uh, for uh, this uh, race. And uh, I'm very happy uh, with the, the car uh, and uh, uh, with the Pirelli tires. Now we've seen you perform on a few events this year within WRC3. Are you happy with your driving? Are you happy with your performance? I am happy uh, with uh, my session and uh, I had a good uh, result uh, in uh, Rally Monte Carlo and uh, Rally Portugal. And what's your hope, uh, Fabio, for the season, for the WRC3 season ahead? Do you feel you're one of the favourites? Uh, I hope, um, uh, I know I have uh, the best position uh, in uh, the classification uh, between uh, the drivers uh, who are uh, uh, racing here, so uh, for uh, this uh, reason, uh, people, uh, I, f I think uh, I am uh, the favorite, but uh, this rally is uh, tricky, it's uh, very difficult for me, uh, and uh, very long, uh, it's okay. So we talked about strategy with Esa Pekka and he said it's survival at this rally. What's your strategy? Uh, my strategy uh, will be to arrive, to arrive uh, at the end of uh, every day. Uh, and uh, because uh, these uh, stages uh, uh, will be very difficult uh, to drive after uh, near the car, uh, for uh, to rocks uh, and uh, the condition and uh, the road. My target uh, is to do more uh, point uh, in, in uh, po is possible. Uh, I am uh, here. Uh, thank um, and uh, thanks uh, to Watch Team Italia and uh, Pirelli and uh, Team Romeo Ferraris. Uh, overall, uh, my team manager Claudio Bortoletto. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Are there any questions for our drivers? No? Good luck this weekend. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Bye. WRC drivers to the press conference representing the Hyundai team we have Thierry Neuville representing the FWRT team we have Lorenzo Patelli Yari Matti Latvala represents Volkswagen and representing M Sport we have Eric Camelli Welcome to you all. I hope you're all enjoying a nice bit of Sardinian sunshine. Lorenzo, let's kick off proceedings with you. Good to have you back as part of the championship. We missed you at the last round. Are you fully fixed? Is your ankle okay now? Yeah, yeah, fortunately it's okay. Just a bit of not pain, but, uh, but it's okay at the end of the day, but it's okay, no problem. Obviously, competing at home on Italian soil, essentially, for you is going to be special. And we've seen great results for you here in the past, certainly in WRC2. But what's the hope for you in WRC this time around? Uh, hopefully, I want to do for sure in the top 10 and uh, maybe some good time in some stages. Uh, the shakedown went uh, quite well. I've never been so close and uh, without pushing too much. And I was missing Portugal, so I, I thought that there would be much further behind but it was okay so um, I'm positive for the rally. How do you feel your time in the WRC car now is is paying off for you? Do you feel that you're getting stronger? Yeah yeah for sure. Uh, fortunately last year has been uh, a bit like uh, a, a week year. I've not improved so much and uh, I lost a bit of time but this year since the start I improved quite a lot and feeling that I have margin to improve and uh, I'm much more comfortable in the car. Now, we've seen you with a few co-drivers over your career. We've seen a new co-driver for you this year. How is that relationship working? Ah, it's working great. It's, it's, uh, it's like when I was doing very well with Mitya and uh, with Simone, I have a great feeling. Everything is perfect, so I'm really happy of the choice and uh, we, are, we, feel, we stay really well in the car and everything is great. Okay, Lorenzo, right. thank you very much. Let's turn to Yari Matti Latvala now. Hard to believe, but we are approaching that midpoint of the season already coming up. Yari Matti, how are you feeling about your season? How are you feeling about the championship itself and your chances within the championship? Yeah, if, if you look at um, the championship, uh, I'm on a sixth position, so for sure it's not, uh, it's not what I was targeting. It's been difficult. I have had, um, okay, I've done a couple of mistakes myself, but I have had also technical problems. And um, so at the end of the day, uh, we are on the, like I mentioned, sixth position. But um, as long as there is a chance, you have to keep going and keep fighting because you never know what happens. I mean, there have been years like 2001 when, when it looked like uh, Tommy Maginin going to be the champion in the midway of the season, but then suddenly at the end of the year, Richard Burns was the champion by one point. I mean, okay, things have changed significantly since that. I mean, the, the point scoring system and everything. But it just, uh, it just for me, it shows that as long as you have a chance, you have to keep fighting. So flat out this weekend then, yeah? <laughs> Well, this event is, uh, yes, uh, I mean, for sure you have to go keep going uh, fast. And I have done it in the last couple of years. I've been going flat out. But I think it's, it's an important to find a rhythm that you, you, you know you're what you are doing in this sense that when you have a rough sections and, and rocks and things that you realize to calm down and take a little bit easier because then you save the car. When it's faster, when it's smoother, then you can keep going. And, and attack, but I mean, here, if you, if you attack too much and you do a mistake, it's, it's penalizing you more than in any other rally. You know, you talked about the fact that there is still a chance in the championship. In terms of your performance, when things have been going well, and we have seen a win from you this year, have you been happy with the pace that you delivered, or is there more we can see from Yari Matti this year? I think the speed wise, if I think about Mexico and Argentina, they were really good. Portugal, I was a little bit slow in the, in the beginning, but I was, I was just getting a good speed when we, when we hit the problems. Um, and after that, I, couldn't, I, oh, I didn't want to take any risks anymore. So I, it's, a bit, yeah, it's been a bit difficult to say 
But I think I need. I think the speed wise, it's been fine. It's just that to have the consistency. Consistency. Consistency is a word you've been using for many, many years now, Yari Matti. When are we going to find that consistency? Yes, that, that's a good question. <laughs> Not that I'm being harsh. <laughs> I have been, yes, I'm 31 years old now. I've been looking for it. But uh, maybe it's just, maybe it's just accept, ac ac how would I say, accepting the way I am and the way I'm driving, and then to find the best out of it. Maybe that's the best target, and not to try to find something else. Well, we love you just the way you are, so don't go changing anytime soon. Thank you. Let's turn to Thierry Nouvel. Now, I have to say, before I ask you any rally questions, you seem pretty good at the table football that we saw last night down at High and Well, it wasn't table football, was it? But I think maybe a footballer is possible if you ever wanted to give up the rally in Korea, Thierry. Quite good uh, football career before the rally, actually. So, oh, did you now? Oh, there we go. That's why. Oh, then. I, uh, I enjoy football, but uh, it's too dangerous for me. Uh, it's uh, yeah. You it's, hold on, it's too dangerous. <laughs> it's of, too dangerous. You see a lot of incidents on football uh, more than actually on rallying happen. So uh, <laughs> uh, I don't like. Okay, let's talk about the rally then, because you know it's not as dangerous as football, obviously. Uh, we saw you on the podium last year. You seem to like this event. You seem to really get into the stages here. Is that true to say or not? Yeah, uh, great memories, of course. Uh, Sardinia speaks me well. Uh, I had a couple of podiums already here. Uh, good memories, like I say, uh, uh, from 2013 on. It was. 2013 on. It was as well my my first ever gravel rally with a four-wheel drive car in 2000. Uh, Hello? Yeah, just push it down a little bit lower, that's fine. In 2010, so uh, like I say, it's, uh, it's a lovely event. It's a tricky event. We have seen last year as well a lot of uh, troubles. Uh, I was involved as well with power steering, tow issue. Uh, but at the end, uh, I was able to finish on the podium because many retirements and, and many crashes. And uh, it's overall a tricky event. You talked at the end of last year about wanting this season to be different for yourself, for things to go well. We have seen pace coming through from you, but we've also seen things go wrong as well. How can we change that round, Thierry? What's the plan here? It was to say, I think, uh, obviously the, the speed was okay. Monte Carlo, podium, Sweden, uh, again, uh, fighting for podium. And even in Mexico, where we, we make a mistake, we were strong. Uh, Argentina was a bit of a disaster for us uh, with technical issues. Portugal, obviously, uh, very unlucky with the with the fuel issue as well. But uh, uh, that's how things are going. Uh, I couldn't change much, to be honest, uh, except try to to give my best and uh, try to to still enjoy. And uh, I have to say, this year with the new car, I'm enjoying much more again, uh, feeling feeling more comfortable and. Uh, and f yeah, and enjoying more, and when you enjoy, uh, things are going better, even if uh, the luck wasn't on our side this, this early beginning. You, know, you mentioned the new car. They were only seeing it, obviously, for one year. How much more potential within the season do you think that car has, or are we seeing it at its maximum potential now? No, I think there are some evolutions planned. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the season is going ahead so fast. Uh, we're already in the sixth event. So uh, it's going fast, and uh, uh, for sure we are planning some, some small improvements, uh, which hopefully come soon. But at the same time, everybody's focusing on 2017 and the new area of the WRC. So uh, you have to, to find the right balance between. But uh, I think for Hyundai it could be the chance this year, as VW is not doing much development anymore on the actual car, to benefit from that and try to... There we go. Okay, Thierry, thank you for that. Let's turn to Eric Kamerly now. Both of you doing your own little mechanic works on the mics there, I see. Uh, Eric, we've seen two good events from you. Argentina, Portugal, you've got through without using Rally 2, but also some competitive times in Portugal as well. Are you happy with what you've done over those past two events? Happy, uh, of course. Uh, it's uh, our best result on the... In WRC, so uh, yes, uh, to finish fifth uh, with our experience, it's a good thing. Um, so, but uh, yes, uh, we need to. It's done, but we need to work again and again to uh, to do again the same result uh, like in Portugal. Uh, of course, we improve a lot of things on notes on uh, every everything on to set the car to discover the, the WRC uh, 
the rhythm of the WRC during the stage, and especially on gravel, uh, because I don't have a lot of experience of uh, on gra gravel rally. Uh, but yes, we are very, very happy to, to do that uh, after the difficult start of the season. You mentioned your notes there and improving your notes. We saw a co-driver change at the start of the season, then you went back to your original co-driver, Benjamin. How is that relationship working, and how are your notes developing now at WRC level? Yeah, that's working great, uh, great with uh, Benjamin. Uh, we, we work together all the time uh, because uh, we live so close in, the, in France. And uh, so uh, about the notes, yes, uh, we find some, something uh, to, to improve, like uh, the distance between the corner and uh, to break uh, later. Or really a lot of things like that. Um, but uh, after, uh, after uh, again, um, if you add all the thing you, you are able to win some tens here, some tens here, and uh, it's that the reason that uh, the time was better in the, in Portugal. Now we saw you compete here last year. That was in WRC two, of course, so different. But what did you learn last year from this event that can help you maybe this year? I I remember that it was the very hard event. Uh, we are uh, we were competitive because it was our first best time on WRC two uh, on gravel. Uh, here, but uh, we we broke the steering rack the first day, so we were competitive. But uh, now I I know that you have a lot of froth um, everywhere. You know, not very very where, but uh, everywhere, and you need to avoid uh, them to, to 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 preserve the car and uh, to 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 see the the finish line. Um, but uh, it, it's a great rally. It's a very nice place, so it's uh, it's a good for the show as well. And uh, at the same time. Uh, yeah, I like the road. It's you have a lot of tight corner and little cut, so it's uh, like in check done this morning. It's uh, it's interesting. I like. Okay, Eric, Thanks. thank you. Finally, back to Yari Matti. You are my analytical genius, Yari Matti. So I know if I ask you this question, you can tell me. But if I was to ask you what was the most challenging stage here and why, which would it be from you? I would. Um Let's say this way that, uh, okay, the Montalerno is the longest stage of the rally. For sure, there are some sections which are challenging. But um, if I really think about that for the driving, I think, um, you know, even the power stage is pretty challenging, I have to say. It's a completely new. Uh, it's a very nice view, but you have a lot of narrow places. You have a lot of creep level changes and, uh, and so on. But, okay, it's a short stage. But, I mean, for the rally, I think it's the uh, the essential stage, uh, which is going to be really important. Is the Monteleno stage? Yeah. Do you all agree with that? Is Monteleno maybe the the challenge here or the most essential stage to get right, Thierry? Uh, it's uh, it's the longest stage of the rally, and uh, it's quite a tough one. Uh, some middle sections this year, which are very narrow and rough, uh, so uh, uh, it's easily to to get a problem there. Uh, you can't avoid the stones uh, if they're in the middle of the road because it's too narrow. So. I think Montelerno is a, will be a tough, tough stage for everybody and uh, maybe some decisions on the results can, can be done there. Uh, otherwise, like Yari said, uh, the power stage is a very nice view. And to end the rally uh, with a victory over there, uh, I'm dreaming, dreaming about it because it's along the sea on the coast. So very beautiful. Uh, so I hope to be there on, on, on Sunday and uh, hope to be still in the fight for the podium. Of well, you've made your intentions clear for Sardinia. I like that. Eric, what do, you, what do you feel about the stages? Which one would be the most challenging for you? Yeah, about the stage in general or uh, Montelano? No, just uh, which stage for you? Out of all of the stages, which would be the most yeah, challenging? Maybe, maybe uh, uh, Montelano, Montelano as well. I remember, uh, remember last, last year we were. It was very, very hard because it's so long and uh, it's very <laughs> warm on the car and uh, you need to be very, very in good physical condition. And, uh, and it's not very fast, and uh, you you need to know the, the corner and everything. But uh, it will be a huge challenge for uh, for for us, uh, yeah, in Montelano. But uh, we are ready now to to fight in Montelano, not for it. Lorenzo, do you agree with them all? Is it the same for you? Yeah, for me, Montelano and uh, also the power stage. But I think also the second, the, the one of Tula, especially the second pass, there is some very maybe compression and. It will be hard to, to under find the limit in that stage, but generally those three stages, yeah. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Are there any questions for our drivers? Marco, do you want to go? Yari Matti, 
you won when you were very young here, seven years ago. I know you like very much Sardinia, this rally. This is uh, the good, the, the year you can repeat that victory because you're sixth on the road, this is a very good position. Yeah, it's, uh, the position is very good. Um, I, I expect that yeah, here the, yeah, it, will be, it will be some cleaning uh, for sure. Not necessarily so much on Friday, but more on Saturday. Um, yeah, 109. And since that, I really have tried to push and, and try to win it again. Like I mentioned earlier, probably a couple of times too much. And that's why I have had got punctures and, and problems. So I tried to find the rhythm this year that, uh, that I could have the good, good speed, but also good rhythm. And uh, there are like, also Tiri is very hungry for the victory. And now we mentioned he's also in a good position. And uh, so I think it's gonna be still, it's gonna be a good battle and a good fight. And, uh, but the Saturday afternoon, when you go second time through the stages like Montalerno, it's very, very important that you have a clean run. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Good luck for this weekend.